But last but not least, let's get to the bottle. Nitrous. Breaking hearts and engine internals since the early 1940s. Fun fact, the first time that nitrous was used to increase the performance of an engine was in World War II aircraft. And the reason they use nitrous in airplane engines is that as the planes went up in altitude, the air thins out. So in order to supplement that, they added nitrous to the engines so that the plane would perform at different elevations. So that kind of explains how nitrous actually works. It's obviously two nitrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule. So the way that this works is as you heat up the nitrous, it will release its oxygen molecule. It happens at 570 degrees Fahrenheit and some nonsensical number in Celsius, I don't know. And all this happens when it gets into the combustion chamber. Well, more air means it runs more lean, right? Oh, that's right. So that's why we have to add more fuel into the mixture also. Now, there are dry shots of nitrous, but those only go up to a certain horsepower rating, and then you have to add more fuel because it just leans it out too much. But the bonus to nitrous is, is it's actually twofold. As you release that extra oxygen and nitrogen into the intake stream, it actually cools the charged air as well. So the nitrogen cools the air and actually packs more air into that same spot. So then you add fuel to ignite all that oxygen and bang, more horse torque.